Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Dr. P and welcome back today for another Fortnite Battle Royale video. Now in this video guys, we're going to go over a number of things including a brand new Christmas skin in the item shop and a theory regarding the tomato head based on evidence found in Polar Peaks Castle. Make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy and make sure to use my supported creator code if buying any V-Bucks, purchasing any skins, battle pass tiers, anything at all. It really helps. Shout out to the guys on screen for using my supported creator code. I really do appreciate it and with that said let's get into it so we'll start the video out by talking about the new skin it's actually called tinsel toes and it looks a lot like an elf that's what it looks like to me a female elf and I'm envisioning this is probably a part of the code name elf set we should probably see the male version of this elf come out in the coming days it is Christmas very soon nonetheless in five days I think this skin looks extremely cool, and the cool thing about it is it's really cheap. It's a green, it's a common skin, uncommon skin, sorry, and it's only 800 V-Bucks, so if you, you know, if you're gonna buy a skin, this is probably one of the ones to cop. A lot of these Christmas skins really tend to lean on the cheaper side, you know, including the Yuletide Ranger, the Red Nose Raider, a lot of these skins are green or blue variants, meaning, you know, they're on the lower end, so I definitely would recommend picking them up, you know, people are probably going to start getting V-Buck gift cards here soon for Christmas, and definitely, and I think Epic knows that, and they're trying to make as many of these skins uh, financially viable to buy as possible. I think this skin is going to be one that a good amount of people end up buying just because of how cheap it is, relatively speaking, so for sure let me know your thoughts on it, let me know if you're going to buy it, I think my favorite part about it, as silly as it sounds, are the feet of this lady, I mean, I love Love the curved toes. Those shoes, I think, really are true uh, trademarks of an elf. I also really love the stockings, you know, the striped white and red. Really cool looking skin, and I'm definitely recommending you guys get it if you can. So I want to talk about something that was discovered in the castle at Polar Peak, and no, it's not the dragon eggs I talked about before, which is crazy. We're making revelations all over the place here in Polar Peak. So what I'm talking about here in this video is this picture that's actually on the second or third floor of the building. On the picture, you can see a very low saturation photo of Tomato Head opening up his pizzeria in Tomato Town very long ago. You can tell it's a long time ago. One, because Tomato Town isn't even a place anymore. And the picture is obviously black and white. He looks really happy to be opening his first restaurant. Little did he know it's going down the drain real soon. Recently, as I'm sure you guys know, there's been a huge food feud Wow, that's a tongue twister. Between the two sides, aka Tomato Head and Der Burger. In the week two loading screen, it's interesting because you can see all of the residents of Retail Row enjoying a nice burger, courtesy of Der. And you can see Tomato Head sitting out in the corner on top of the buildings with a telescope, looking right at him, I guess plotting some revenge or something. I don't know what's going on, but definitely there are a lot of signs Pointing at the tomato head, you know, like, I guess maybe he's losing, and he's in some kind of desperation mode to turn the tide of the war. Everyone seems to love Der Burger, so I'm curious as to why and how a picture, an old, timey picture, mind you, of Tomato Head opening his pizzeria in the now ancient Tomato Town got in there. Like, literally, how did it end up in the ice castle? Because if you consider where it came from, it came from on an iceberg very far away that iceberg was floating in from so far away for such a long time so who put that there who literally put that there there was someone off of the island far away that is involved in this feud that is got some kind of tie with tomato head maybe tomato head is a friend of the ice king uh because the ice king of course is the one who owns the castle and the picture is in the castle i'm just trying to draw some loose connections here Everything in that castle was covered up in ice, and when it melted, of course, everything is revealed, along with that picture. So, like I said, someone obviously put the picture there, uh, must have been related or in some way tied to Tomato Head to get the picture, but I'm not sure why or how, or even what's causing all this whatsoever. Of course, I'm open to hearing your opinions, your theories. In fact, I welcome it. Make sure to go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments. You guys don't even understand how much that helps me. Uh, it helps everyone, really, not just me. We're all trying to piece together the story. We're all trying to figure it out. We all love the game. We're all on the same team here. There are a number of super mysterious things happening at Polar Peak, and it's going to be 
the focal point of the season going forward, I'm pretty sure. I mean, we could see this coming considering the iceberg was such a big, big event for weeks leading up to the start of season seven. And of course, the tip of the iceberg is Polar Peak. That literally is the iceberg and it's melting as I'm sure you guys know. There are confirmed eggs underneath the castle and I don't know if they're dragon eggs. I talked about this in a video earlier today and I recommend you check it out if you're curious on learning more. But it sure does seem that way. If I had to bet, I would say they are dragon eggs. So on top of that, now you've got this mysterious tomato head involvement in this situation, which I'm not sure what's going on there. But the great thing about Fortnite is it's constantly evolving and you're constantly being fed new information as it pertains to the season storyline. Because I mean, literally every week they roll out an update. Big or small, it doesn't matter, they're rolling out updates every week, they have map changes every week, stuff like this, and I'm sure as the castle continues to melt, okay, it's still got a long way to go. It's funny because we've already had like two or three stages of the castle melting, but we have so far to go, I bet, and I don't even know what's left to be discovered in this castle. But knowing Epic Games, I would probably bet that they are putting a lot of things in this castle uh, to tease what's coming next, to give us easter eggs or small hints for the future, and I bet there will be more stuff revealed with every passing phase that the castle melts. Later on down the line, I want to find out what Tomato Head's involvement with this whole iceberg and Ice King and the castle truly is. Of course, there is a slight chance that the picture of Tomato Head in the castle literally means nothing and it's just a random uh, item they put in the castle, but knowing Epic, I highly doubt it, considering Tomato Head literally is in the loading screen, looking like he's being left out, looking like he's mad, looking like he's trying to plot some sort of revenge, all of that combined to me really just points out the fact that it really is unlikely that this picture was put there unintentionally by Epic Games. They don't do that sort of stuff. They plan everything out. Literally, Donald Mustard earlier today was already teasing Season 9. So they already know what that season's gonna be about. And if they already know what Season 9 is gonna be, which isn't even the next season. It's Season 7. The next season is Season 8. If they already know what Season 9 is, then I bet they uh, probably had a plan putting the Tomato Head picture in that castle. Also, considering how big of a POI and how big of a focal point that whole area is for this season. I mean, it's the tip of the iceberg, probably one of the most uh, visited places. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and lock it in. I do not believe this is unintentional. I think it serves a purpose with everything going on in the game right now. And my evaluation, my final, my final verdict is definitely this means something. And I'm trying to figure it out. I really want to figure it out because this is what I live for. I love Fortnite. I have dedicated myself for the past one year to covering Fortnite's lore and covering the storyline. I've thoroughly enjoyed it, there have been ups, there have been downs, and there have been a lot of unanswered questions. I mean, we still, we still have questions that we need to get answered from like season 3 and season 4. Epic is being, you know, not the most transparent when it comes to uh, the storyline and what the characters actually mean, which I guess is fine. They want to leave it up to interpretation, that's the smart way to do it. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on everything I said in this video in the comment section down below. What do you think about the tomato head picture in the castle? I think that is extremely intriguing. A fan actually pointed it out to me, and the second I went and saw that it was real, I knew. I knew I had to make a video on it, just because it's probably got pretty big, or I don't know about pretty big, but it's probably got an implication to the storyline it might not be the biggest biggest detail but it's a detail nonetheless and that's what i do on the channel i cover all aspects of the story i leave no stone unturned hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did do me a favor tap that like button join the family and subscribe i'd really really appreciate that make sure to use my code if buying any v bucks like i said it's pineapples yt and you'll get a chance for a shout out in an upcoming video if you send me proof thanks for watching and peace out